Kamali finishes building the fort. Uh, we have all sorts of references to Kamali having his kohale between the fort and the and and the ocean, right? So in this space right here, so basically, if you can, there there are references to a ten foot high semicircular stone wall. I'll, I'll let you read them yourselves out here, and 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 you can sort of picture a royal kohale here, basically right under the guns uh, of the fort. And this is basically where Kamali was living by 1817, right? Uh, there's one reference, a guy named Peter Corney, uh, right after the Russian period ended that said that Kamali was living inside the fort. That's the only one I know that said that he was living inside, but all the others uh, suggest that this Kawahale had moved a little bit from farther away and moved basically right underneath the guns by 1817. Right. That's his fort, guy. That's, you don't live there as Ali Inui and hand those cannons over to somebody else. It was never part of his plan. This was his fort. The Russians did have a fort on Kauai, and that was Fort Alexander, which is up in uh, the Halalea district, right? If you want to compare and contrast, this is a Hawaiian fort in 1817. There was a Russian one on the north side of the island. Okay. That's what all the hubbub is about. 